Hi everyone, and today I'm going to show you how to color correct your media from within Adobe Premiere Pro. Here I have some old family images we want to include in a home movie, but the images are red tinted. First, you must click on the forward arrow in the top right hand corner of the project workspace, click on effects, and type in color. And under color correction, you have many options. One of them is the color decision list. And if I change the amount of red power, you notice the red tint changes to green. And any effects can be turned off by clicking the FX button on the left side. Additionally, if you want to change the brightness of an image, you can select brightness and contrast from the color correction folder in effects. Grab and drag this number left to right to add or decrease your brightness. You can also adjust the contrast below as well. If you don't need this effect, simply click on it and press delete. However, the easiest way to color correct is by using the Lumentary color. Type it into your effects panel and scroll down to the end. Then, drag it onto your clip. Now, it's on the clip. You can also find this effect by typing color into the effects panel. It is one of the options in the color correction folder. Once you have clicked on your clip and can access the effects control panel, scroll down until you find Lumentary color. Here, you can see various color correction options, including basic correction, creative, curves, among others. If you're a beginner, just use basic correction. It will do the job. Adjust the temperature and the tint. I'm attempting to remove this red tint. Don't worry if it doesn't look right just yet. You may need to adjust both the white balance and the tone. In tone, I lifted up the exposure of the image, made it brighter. I've also adjusted the contrast. Highlights are similar to exposure, so I'll leave that alone. Now, finally, I will change the shadows, whites and blacks. A lot of this is just experimentation, so keep adjusting and readjusting until the image looks its best. And that looks much better. Now I want to copy these effects onto my other clips. Right click on the clip and press copy, and then right click on another clip and select paste attributes. This box will appear, so add effects and deselect motion, opacity and time remaining. Click OK. Now you can see those effects have been added. Go to the next clip and again right click and press paste attributes. Make sure effects are selected and then click OK. I'm going to do the same thing for the last clip, but this image is a bit dark, so I might need to make additional changes to it. In the effects control panel, scroll down to basic correction and make the changes and that's it. You can follow me on Facebook, Instagram, or visit me at my website. All details are in the description. I hope this helps. Bye.